Hello friends. It is Sunday. I'm about to go get COVID tested like usual. Feeling pretty good, not too worried. Um, I'm exhausted to come out to last night. People next door were being so loud, so annoying. So I could not fall asleep, so that's why hence the melatonin. COVID tested you saw how easy that was literally so easy um now I'm gonna go do some work and go to a cafe and grade some things because I'm a TA with Darian um then I have a presentation tomorrow so I'm gonna practice for that and price it out in law quad it's like 60 70 degrees today so it's so nice beautiful day in Ann Arbor <laughs> Oh, she got one of four. Oh, look at this. Like, oh. Cheers. Mm. That was really good. Smooth. Yeah. That was a lot. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Woo. Okay, I wanna try. Do should I climb up? What? Should I climb up? If you think you can. Oh. Or you can do it from the ground. Uh. Uh, you good up there? Yeah. I just don't want to hit the tree. You want? You just gotta kick out. You just gotta jump out to the side. Okay. I'm coming. life-changing um i have been struggling with organizing my jewelry because i have now grown quite a large collection of rings and uh earrings because i love to accessorize but everything's get it's lost in this bin that i have and i've just like having these little bags isn't that sustainable for like being able to quickly find your jewelry and separate items so i got a pack of just like a bunch of tiny little plastic bags i know you're not supposed to be using plastic but like i'm gonna be reusing these so it's not like i'm gonna be going through a ton of these i'm just gonna organize all my jewelry in clear plastic bags now so i can clearly see what my jewelry items are y'all this is life changing can literally see all my pieces of jewelry they used to be like all in these little bins which is still good for rings and things but oh my god look at how great this is and they won't get like tied up i won't lose backings of earrings oh i need to find something big enough to put these in but i am so happy about this hey guys so i am walking to ross 
have a presentation today um, on vulnerability for my business communication class, which I'm not particularly excited for because being vulnerable in front of people is kind of hard and weird in a business class. But um, that is when I am up to, it's like 50 degrees and it's 8 in the morning, which means it's going to be like 80 degrees today. Pretty insane. Um, I will catch up with you guys later, but just wanted to give a little update. So this is me practicing my presentation. I'm in a Ross room, so that's why I don't have to wear a mask, as you can see. Um, I'm going to get vaccinated tomorrow, which is really, really exciting. I get my second dose, and thankfully, I never got COVID in between. I got tested yesterday, or got tested a couple days ago, and it was negative, and I haven't seen anyone since, so I would assume it'll be the same. I'm getting my second dose of the vaccine today. I'm so excited. Um, it's like an hour drive, so I'm going to go with my friend Priya, and we're going to make a little road trip of it, but... Yeah, I'm getting Pfizer and I will be almost fully vaccinated after today. I think two weeks from now, two or three weeks, I will be like good to go. But I'm so excited. <laughs> my way to get my second dose of the vaccine. We're in Lamberville, getting the second dose. Yee! <laughs> Me and Bay. Hello friends, I am fully vaccinated and after two weeks, I think I will have immunity, like to the most utmost point that I will ever have. So I'm expecting I might get fevers, but we'll see. I'm, I don't, I don't know. I tend to do that so easily. And I get a cough, which is really bad if I don't sleep. So I need to rest up well and see what happens. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm lying on my balcony in a swimsuit. It is the beginning of April and it's like 75 degrees. So it's like really warm out and sunny. So I feel very tan from the winter time. So I'm trying to tan myself. Um, I did some work out here just a bit ago and I think I'm going to read a bit. Um, here you can see my little band-aid from my vaccine appointment the other day. Um, all my roommates are not feeling good from their vaccine, but I felt fine. I was a little tired. Took some liquid IV, some Advil. It was fun. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, my plans. I might go to some like outdoor bar with some friends um, who are also vaccinated. And yeah, I'm excited. I literally just want to tan all day, all night. Um, yeah, so that is what... I will be doing here. I think this was going to be the way my last time in a Ross room would be. No. Goodbye, Ross room. So many memories in here. In these types of rooms. Studying. I'm so depressed. <laughs> Bye.
choppy Ann Arbor. That's snow. Snow in April. It snowed last night. You see that? The ground. Crazy. Hey everyone. It's the last day of school as a senior, or I guess the last day of classes for me ever. Unreal. I have one more assignment to turn in and then I'm basically an alumni. A real adult. This is insane. Like, I don't even... It's literally the, like, April 20th, April 21st. What is the world? Also, it literally snowed last night and yesterday. Michigan weather. Not sure I'm gonna miss it. Hi everyone, I just wanted to hop on here and say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this week's video. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Skillshare, which is an online community that is great for people who are interested in learning new passions and skills and getting their feet wet with things that they've never been exposed to. I personally really like learning about UX design, creativity, photography, film, etc. Those are all classes that are listed on Skillshare and I love deepening my passions in those classes by learning from professionals from all around the world. I've been really interested in this class called Inclusive UX Designing Websites for Everyone by Regine Gilbert. It's great for someone like me who's going into a career that surrounds UX design and designing websites that can appeal to people with different disabilities or people who have struggles in certain areas but you want to be inclusive of everyone whether they're a part of a community like yours or if they have a different lifestyle. What I love about Skillshare is the fact that it is curated specifically for learning so there's literally no ads on the platform because they just want to encourage creativity and they're always launching new premium classes. The first 1,000 of my subscribers like the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership so you can explore your own creativity. Thank you again for Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoy using Skillshare as much as I have.